Karina was. <laughs> so Karina was someone who. So um, Karina was someone who seemed to have boundless amounts of energy and capacity to just really enjoy life. I was on my way to work and uh, unfortunately when I came up to a junction I was slowing down and a very large van carrying a lot of Welsh slate hit the back of my car. I never made it to work that day. I went to A&E and after a three hour wait, um, the doctor basically said that because I wasn't bleeding from the ears that um, everything was okay, we wouldn't need to scan and he gave me a pamphlet which I only discovered about three months later because I had no recollection of him giving me that pamphlet. A traumatic brain injury is caused by something where you physically hit your head and they come in three different classifications, mild, moderate and severe. Even mild head injuries can have ongoing lifelong impacts, much more long lived than say those who have had a severe head injury but managed to recover really quickly. So I've had a lot of physical symptoms, cognitive and emotional symptoms. Not being able to do more than just making a cup of tea, you know, and that's kind of, that's it for the day. The most amazing thumping headache. My t I've had tinnitus since the accident and that's been really quite annoying because you can never hear silence. So you just have this ringing all the time. So it's this constant reminder that things aren't right, that you haven't recovered. So for the first, two months of my head injury, I was pretty much living in a zombie state or what is commonly called as a fog. It's a bit like being drunk, but permanently. I was visiting a friend and their grandchild had gone swimming and we were going through all the different strokes that you could do. And I said, oh, did you do breast cancer? And I meant to say breast stroke. And I was just mortified. So my brain constantly mixes up words I know in myself that before the accident, I didn't have those types of slip ups and certainly my vocabulary has reduced and my confidence to be able to talk as well has, has gone. What does this mean in the future? How well am I going to recover? Am I going to recover to normal or am I going to remain someone who has thumping headaches and lives life a bit like a zombie? Each person who's had a brain injury has had to become their own specialist. I went to my doctor and I said, you know, why has my referral to the neurologist been declined? And she said, oh, because, you know, they didn't think that your, your injury was severe enough and that it should be getting better by itself. And then she said to me, what would you like to have written on your sick note? And I said to her, well, I've got a doctorate in philosophy, you've got a doctorate in medicine. If you can't tell me what's wrong with me, why am I not seeing a neurologist who may be able to tell me that? Every 90 seconds, one person in the UK is admitted to A&E with a head injury. And equally, there are very high numbers in America. In fact, head injuries are the number one cause of a debilitating disability or injury for young people all around the world. Why is there not being more done? There's now a growing recognition that the injury itself was more severe than was first thought because I'm having these ongoing symptoms. And so it's quite interesting to see how now I seem to be getting a lot more help. And I just think, but I needed it back then. The brain is what creates us as a human being, what our reality is, what our function is. Well, I think it's interesting with a brain injury, isn't it? Because you're, you're trying to process your injury, but the injury is your brain. So it, that's what's really difficult. Yeah, I'd rather have my legs cut off than a brain injury because you can function without your legs, but you can't function without your brain. I do feel like I'm getting there. Um, I do feel like I'm more like the old me, but it's a lot more effort to be like that than it used to be. It just changes your whole perspective on life. and you start to think more about what you want, how short and precious life is, and you really start to live life uh, in, in a more full way to really make the most of it.